one person would have taken the time to save Dalton, they would forever be our hero. Dalton Diebrick had just turned 18, was about to start school at Texas Tech, and had pledged Alpha Sigma Phi before he ever walked into his first class. His mother says he died from being forced to drink at a fraternity party. After 30 minutes of drinking keg, they brought out bottles of whiskey and he drank more than half a bottle. And within an hour, he was unresponsive. He passed away there that night, probably between midnight and 1 a.m. They didn't call 911 until almost 9 o'clock in the morning. Text messages and videos tell the story of that night. Dalton, in his own words, shining light on the hazing that was taking place. I knew the next morning when the police showed up at my house because Dalton didn't call me or text me the night before when he got in and he did every night. Since Dalton passed away in 2014, Debbie hadn't been on Texas Tech's campus, but that all changed when she chose to share her story with hundreds of sorority and fraternity members. Texas Tech says that they work to educate their students on recognizing the signs of hazing. 18 to 22, you're invincible and things, bad things don't always happen. And for us having, you know, Miss D. Brick back here on campus to talk about her son in Dalton, who, you know, is a Red Raider. Thornton says this message should resonate more than ever with the Greek community because Dalton was one of their peers. His life has been sacrificed, that's the way I look at it, to save hopefully hundreds and thousands of other kids. Leah Doherty, KLBK News.